Ja, no niin, yes. Okei, okay. oh shit, oh, oh, oh yeah baby, shit yeah baby. Texas Chainsaw Massacre from Second Sight in 4K and also on Blu-ray 3-disc set. So, packed with extras and new 4K master from the Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Let's see. Let's see what kind of a package we have. Let's see what we have here. Okay, so this is 100 page, 119 page booklet. The, the booklet and this contains 15 essays about Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Unfortunately, I didn't have the time to read it all, obviously. It's a, it's a huge, huge task to read this 119 page, but I certainly will be reading this. And uh, yeah, I will quickly show you how does it look like. Yeah. All right, all right. Yeah, nice booklet. Then we have the Texas Chainsaw Massacre lobby cards. And the uh, funny thing that I ordered this from the uh, second side, directly from second side, and they put an extra extra set of uh, lobby guards and this was outside the package so this is probably exclusive to the people who order it directly from second side so these kind of lobby guards are that set and let's see the uh, official set of lobby guards yeah letter face we have the letter face we have the Grandpa, not grandpa, but the bro brother, then the other hitchhiker, and then we have the grandpa. Yeah, then we have the discs. So not too much to mention here. We have the Ultra HD disc, and we have the Blu-ray disc, and the extras on disc on Blu-ray. And mind you that this 4K disc includes all the extras too. So basically, if you are... If you're a 4K watcher like I am, so basically you don't need these two discs either. Unless you want to see it on on the um, <laughs> uh, Blu-ray for some reason. I might quite so. So Texas Chainsaw Massacre, the movie, probably much like Bloodsport, don't need any introduction. It was directed by Tobe Hooper in 1974. And still to this day, it's a very shocking film. It's not an overly gory film, but the visceral way the film is shot is very violent. And I mean violent towards the watcher of the film. It's amazing. And I don't think this uh, power of this film has ever been matched since. So it's a un not necessary uh, plot wise it is not that original uh, five youngsters go to rural texas and then there's this chainsaw family who is hunting them they are hunting the youngsters to <laughs> to make dinner out of them so basically that's it but hey consider in 1974 that was pretty original concept because previously horror was done most of the time it was done for adults and uh, most of the time horror was made by it was uh, horror was uh, imposed to the characters in the film by some monster some supernatural force and m most of the time the horror was happening in some sort of old castle or space station or something like that but this took the horror and put it in the real life and for the real people young people and this kind of you know is a mirror of American society in turn oil in that time of uh, history you know 70 early 70s was a time of watergate and vietnam war and basically everything seemed to go directly to hell so this reflects the anxiety of the american society very well and uh, this film <laughs> has a very huge censorship history you know it was not necessarily a video nasty in English, but England, but it was denied of classification all the way up to the, was it year 1998 or something? And then it was approved uh, for 18 rating. And also in Finland, 
it was not released until 1998 i i think it it came it had its movie premiere in that year and i remember seeing it the first fucking time i went to see it in the fucking cinemas and god damn it fucking blew my balls away god damn i was literally jizzing in my pants you know i was coming all of the other patrons of the movie theater okay now i'm being disgusting but yeah it was a big thing and it was <laughs> you know banned like five or six times previously in Finland but then it came and man oh man it was a it was an event and still is it is still very good film very well made film the soundtrack is absolutely terrifying the way it is shot it's absolutely terrifying and yeah it's a it's a genuine horror classic but now you might be asking how does it look on 4k ultra hd but hey you know, Texas Chainsaw Massacre, it was it was shot on 60mm film, uh, very much like uh, I have here Second Sight's Martin, 4K also, 60mm film, uh, master, master on 4K, and then also The Hills Have Eyes, have been, it was shot on 60mm and mastered in 4K. So basically what it means to shoot in 60mm instead of 35mm, basically it means you have much, you have almost half the resolution, the image information uh, in the in the film than it, it would be on 35mm. So basically uh, that doesn't necessarily make a very good 4K picture because uh, I think um, the resolution is not there. But, okay, uh, it's not a ref reference material by any standard, this, this Dolby Vision remaster, but it has very much grain, grain, film grain in this film. But on the plus side, the film look is it's very film-like looking. Uh, release and the color is much more boosted up with Dolby Vision uh, you can basically you can see the difference if you I actually I watched you know blu-ray I watched part of blu-ray then I put back on 4k you can definitely see the difference so the 4k it's darker but the picture the colors are they have so much more depth to it uh, compared to blu-ray and it is the exact exact same situation than in Hills Have Eyes. 4K is darker, but but uh, more resolution and more color. But Blu-ray is more flat, but less grain. So so uh, if uh, if you really don't like film grain, maybe you should check out the Blu-ray version. But what would be the point then? Because Texas Chainsaw Massacre has been previously released many, many, many times on Blu-ray and even on 4K, DVD, whatnot. I, I think it has a record of, you know, home video releases. But yeah, not reference material, the picture, but overall very good looking print and very film-like. And you could easily put this playing on cinemas and I think people would like it. And yeah, mind you, I have seen it on film. And yeah, I think this looks better. <laughs> At least if you compare to DVD. But you know, decide you for yourself. So, okay, let's go back to the uh, release. And the um, let's see. Okay, so this thing comes packed with god damn shit ton of extras so basically we have all the previous extras like uh in the from the previous releases we have audio commentary by Tobe hooper uh and C cinematographer and writer producer and um with actors marilyn burns and uh, robert a burns so basically we have four legacy soundtracks and also we have one new sound, uh, commentary track by um, uh, Amanda Reis and Bill Ackerman. These are some sort of film uh, scholars or students or something, uh, film journalists. 
or something and I listened to it once again and uh, there was lots of great information, little information, little nuggets of information about the making of film. I highly recommend it, especially if, do, if you are doing some these kind of YouTube videos. So there's lots, lots of details come out from that. And then we have Legacy Extras, the shocking truth of a documentary, which is like over hour hour long. And then we have Cutting Chainsaw, Grandpa's Tales, Horror Haunted Crowns, Flesh Wounds, Off the Hook with Terry McMinn, The Business of Chain, Business of Chain, Chainsaw with Ron Boseman, because this, they, the distributor company, they really fucked the movie makers, you know. That's a whole completely different story. Maybe I tell it to you some other time. But let's not go into that right now. We have Top Hooper's interview, Kim Henkel's interview, deleted scenes and outtakes. So these are the legacy extras here. And then we have new documentary, The Legacy of Texas Chainsaw Massacre, which includes uh, interviews from different filmmakers and their experiences on the film. Yeah, interesting stuff. And uh, then we have Behind the Mask and Alexandra Heller Nicholas on the Texas Chainsaw Massacre. That was also very informative um, uh, uh, behind the like a video essay if you will so great package great film five out of five definitely easily the film is five out of five and easily the this release is five stars out of five highly recommended if this is still in stock i i very much suggest you get this because hey come on jaso is the family wouldn't you agree so Let's show these still, because I certainly have the previous Finnish Blu-ray, uh, four hours extra materials, it says here, from Night Visions Distribution, and then we have Texas Chainsaw Massacre, the Finnish VHS tape, which was released uh, not until 2001, because before that it was impossible to release with the old video law that we had and it was it sucked then we had texas chainsaw massacre the finnish dvd also and then i have also the swedish motorsock massacre release and it, it says here the most hot the film is various history so the most hated film in Sweden's history, Total Verbuden, Two Kanger, Two Times Band, also in Sweden, so they didn't like it. And this is the uncut release, but I do believe that there's earlier Swedish version with uh, like one minute and half cuts or something, but I don't have that. So that's my Texas Chainsaw Massacre collection, and yeah, this is a great addition to this collection, yeah. <laughs>